let's talk about editing. So, in today's video, I'm going to show you how to organize and arrange your video files or footage before even importing them to any editing software, be it Adobe Premiere Pro, Final Cut, DaVinci, iMovie, or even Window Movie Maker. Oh my goodness, has any of you guys ever used these two softwares before, iMovie or Window Movie Maker? Leave a comment below and tell me what your experiences were. Make sure you stay until the end of this video because I have a bonus tip for you towards the end of this video which will change your editing process. Yoga everybody, I'm Ray Moses. Organization is such an important aspect towards filmmaking, content creation and editing. So, staying organized is vital and important towards your successful journey as a filmmaker, content creator or a YouTuber. Once you stay organized, this will save you a ton of time from figuring out where different files, footage and folders are located at. So without further ado, let's rock and roll and boom, I'm going to show you how I arrange and organize my files, folders before importing them to any editing software for final editing. So go ahead and create a folder and call it the project name and for this one we shall name it how to organize and arrange your files for editing and then open the project folder and create my first folder under it and I will call it footage. This is where all my footage and video files will be located at. I will then go ahead and create a separate folder under my footage and call it interview. In case I have interviews, this is where all the interviews will be located at and this will help me to separate all my interviews from the B-roll or supplementary footage or any other video files from the main footage like the drone files or any other video that uh, I have in the footage folder. The next folder I'll create under footage, I'll call it B-roll. And here, this will contain all my supplementary footage, which will help me support my A-roll, which is the main camera or the interview. And this will make sure my workflow is so smooth and seamless. In case I'm searching for anything, it will be very easy for me to find it just within a click. The next folder I'll create under footage will be called drone. And here, all my drone files will be located here. And this will be so easy for me when I'm editing my final videos to look for my drone files. I will know exactly where to find them, you know, and this will make my workflow so smooth and seamless. The next thing I'll do, I'll go ahead and create my music folder. And here, all my music that I'll use in relation to the video project will be located here. This will enable finding music pretty easy since they will all be arranged in different folders. Like I'll have an interview folder, b-roll folder, drone folder and music folder. So I recommend you to stay organized and arrange your files systematically before importing these files into any editing software, be it Premiere Pro, Final Cut or DaVinci. The next folder I'll create under the project folder will be voiceover and audio. And here, in case you have voiceovers, external sound from your audio recorder like a Zoom recorder, this is a good place to put all your files and keep them organized for easy finding and syncing with the main footage. So this is definitely something that you should add into your list. If you're new here and this video is adding value to you, please consider subscribing to my channel. Click on the notification bell below to stay updated whenever I upload uh, new content in relation to filmmaking, editing, photography and self-development. Don't forget to like this video and leave a comment down below saying I subscribed. For my returning subscribers, thanks so much. Love y'all. The next folder will be of photos. In case you took photos and you would love to incorporate these photos into your final videos, it's good to have a separate folder for them before importing into any of your editing software, be it Premiere Pro, DaVinci or Final Cut Pro. And also if you want to edit them in a different photo editing software like Adobe Photoshop, Adobe Lightroom, it's important to have a separate folder for easy finding, location and not mixing them with the main footage, which will change your pre-editing process. All right. So the next folder we shall create will be a project folder. This is where all project files will be located at while editing the film. And the magic moment is right here. The final and the bonus tip is keep all your work in the main project folder. For this tutorial, we named our main project how to organize and arrange your files for editing as you can see here. So let me say I'm in a situation where I can't find a clip or some part of my work like my drone shots, interview or even sound and somehow it is lost and I can't really find it. In this case you'll be able to go back to your main project and locate these lost files be it music, uh, drone files, b-roll or the main interviews. 
but if your work is in different folders, this is very hard to locate these files. You will get a headache trying to find all these files all scattered all over the place. So personally, I make sure I put all my work in one project folder and make a subfolder in there and this will simplify my editing process and my workflow. I'm going to tell you the reality. This simplifies my editing process and workflow and it helps me save a lot of time, you know, when editing my videos, hence delivering my work pretty much quicker than you know never before to learn the different ways how i import my files into adobe premiere pro cc please watch this video right here thanks so much guys love you and peace see you in the next video